So this is going to be the first YouTube video where we go into a little bit of our harness setups um, and we're going to be looking to SRT Ascent, so what the lads in the group have done to adjust their harnesses uh, to make it easier to ascend SRT style. <laughs> yes, yeah. Uh, to your harness, or it's not quite your harness, but what pets So this, this lovely new fresh harness that Petzl have given them for us to use um, has got this adjustable bridge makes it nice and easy when you're SRTing because you can cinch that right up and you can have the system nice and close. Um, it just makes everything a lot more compact and easy when you're SRTing up the stem. Um, got a double bridge for two line working, which is great for work positioning and redundancy. I've also, um, with my strop, I've got this, uh, got the carabiner attached straight to the carry tool for quick access and easy undoing. That is then daisy chained onto here. And uh, I've got a, um, a steel carabiner connected to here with a wedge on it. And if I ever need more strop, I can just undo this daisy chain and get more out as and when I need it. Just yeah. keeps it nice and tight and compact. And so you're not a fan of the K1 keeper? No. <laughs> Don't talk to me about the K1 keeper. <laughs> right, James. So yeah, I've got the uh, tree motion harness. Oh, the Evo. The Evo, yeah. Twin bridge. I uh, can use this for two, two work, um, two lines. Uh, I've also got a power cord here for an adjustable bridge. So let's have a little look at this. So these got an adjustable power cord there. Yeah, both just, bridges. Yep. Yeah. And I can pull that forward. Pull it forward. And then that'll pull that in. Yeah. And you just... it right up just Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it's just the uh, yeah, nut, the nut knot. Um, and then round. <laughs> and it's just easy to adjust. Yeah. And then yeah, I've got a little clip round here to put my side strip on. So it's nice, not not dangling around on the floor. And I've got these um, red clips here for my redirects. Anything that I need to bring up with me. And I've just got a. Uh, Tool clips around from the saws yeah. and the shambina as well. It's quite easy to put on and off. Sweet. Over to Bryn. Right, I am uh, climbing on the new notch harness. Yeah. Uh, I've added an adjustable bridge, just with a little CT rope grab. Just that uh, kind of nice, yeah. quick, simple, yeah. very easy. Pull it really tight to get it as cinched as tight as possible. There we go, look. Look at that. No bridge. And then uh, I'm using the uh, swivel by Camp, the Jaro, sorry. Uh, it's great for uh, two line working. It kind of balances it out really nicely and keeps the systems apart. Um, yeah, pretty much it. And I think that's all. Yeah, cool. That's cool. Yeah. So Connor, you're styling out my one, aren't you? I am indeed. Uh, so with Sim Tarnis, we've got the old school tree motion and he's adjusted it with the Wild Country rope grab. Uh, Ropeman, sorry. Um, so as you can see, you know, you can adjust your bridge, make it really small, really centralised. And again, with the Camp 4 gyro. So if you are working on two lines for two rope positions, it's super easy. It keeps everything nice, central, nice and easy to adjust. Pretty much simple as that. Simple, yeah. So does everyone does everyone agree that the gyro is pretty much there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Apart from uh, Tommy over here. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so I got these because I don't like the length of rope at the end. I like all my stuff nice and clean. Two ropes for two line working. Put a nice swivel on there. Four way or three way beaner. Yeah, keeps it all good. Got that on there so you can have that. When you want to put that on the second ring, works really well. Couple, couple tool loops just to keep everything in check. Yep. But other than that, I like it bungless. <laughs> Coran, so I've got whole fresh setup. So none of it's really used yet, but I'm still trying to dial it in. So. Oh yeah, I've climbed on the court for a long time, but this is just a brand new one. So, um, so I don't have a double bridge, but I do have a single bridge with a, a Rock Exotica Hydra Pulley. So you can basically have two systems in either 
side. So I prefer a Kimbo and a Chicane. Um, but they do do smaller bridges, so you could have a splice eye bridge that's smaller as well and shorter, which would be good for ascending. Um, I've improvised and made this um, chest harness um, clip for the core rank chest harness. So uh, basically, you would have your device in like this, and then you would clip your device in like so. So as you're ascending, keeps everything nice and straight in front of you and then clips up really easily. Okay, so I've got the, I think this is still the first gen tree motion highs. Um, since climbing SRT, I've got the gyro on here now. So, lovely swivel. I can run two separate lines for SRT and then I've put these rings either side so I can run an SRT from there, swap it to DRT and then put the other beaner on there. And I can position right or I can position left side. Works really well and then Another knot on there, just to make it a bit shorter. That length works out fine for me. Um, yeah, really happy with it.